Drainage 101, Storm Drainage, Sidewalks and Curbs, and Snow and Ice Removal. Um, for the storm drainage, there's two accounts, drain maintenance and drainage construction, talking about drainage problems around town and talking about the culverts around town. And, you know, there's certainly a lot of drainage problems in this town. Um, I have to be a broken record on that, but it's true. We deal with the issues <coughs> all the time with um, poor drainage infrastructure. We're, uh, we're working on the downtown drainage project right now. Um, this is another project that was put together before my time that was grossly underestimated. Um, and we just got the engineer's estimate in. We do have federal funding for that project, 80%. Um, but I'm $50,000 short to do that project. That was originally funded based on the budget, the previous budget. So I, um, the selectmen are willing to, if there's money at the end of the year, to encumber $50,000 out of the public works budget to apply to that project. But if there is, if we get hit by snowstorms and there is no money left, that's what that $60,000 will cover is 50,000 of that 60,000 will go towards that project to do the downtown project. Otherwise, we'll be picking away at the other drainage problems around town. So you're 50,000 short. You've got 60,000 totally in there. Right. And you're leaving yourself 10000 for all the other projects. Well, well, yeah, and that'll just do, you know, fixes around town, you know, crack pipes, collapse pipes, those type of things, not a whole lot of work. Okay. And again, Fred, this is a very specific project. If we get to the end of the year and that project isn't done, say there's only 30000 of the six of the 50 left, can that be encumbered into 2015 and dedicated to that project? It can because it's a federal FEMA project, so therefore the funds are already awarded. We don't need a purchase order. We've, we're already, we already have access to the funds. We just need to make our match. Okay. Selectman B? No comment. Okay. Um, sidewalk reconstruction. Um, now you did a study on that. Will you share that with us? Well, the problem with the sidewalks in this town is that um, we have many more sidewalks than we can even think of maintaining. Um, they've built concrete sidewalks around town thinking it was a good thing. And especially of all places, Hampton has not lent itself to concrete sidewalks because between the salt and the air, and the salt that we put down on the sidewalks erodes the, um, the concrete. And unless you can put down a high quality sealer to begin with, and then every, say, three to five years continue to seal the sidewalks, you get scaling of the sidewalks, and you've seen it around town where you start seeing scaling. And then once that top protective layer is off, the water gets down in there because concrete is a porous material and then in the winter it freezes and then expands and then that pops it <laughs> and then it gets back to that cancer of the deterioration. So one of my concerns is the town spent so much money on those new sidewalks down at the beach and yet there's no money to put the sealer on. I've been wanting, we've looked at pricing out the sealer or whatever but again at the end of the year, that's one of those areas that I have to absorb the cost into or cover the cost, offset the cost in other areas of the budget. And it's not, it's a, it's, it's a concern, it's a priority. But in the long list of priorities that I have, it's not at the upper top of that list. So <laughs> not only should we be sealing the sidewalks, but we should be repairing the sidewalks that we have. But in order to do that, we'd need you know, fifty, a hundred thousand dollars in this budget to do that, and it's just not enough money that I've been given by the town to do proper maintenance of sidewalks. We've gone out, we've got a sidewalk plan that I've identified all, we've surveyed all the sidewalks, and we've identified what we need to do on those sidewalks. Especially Route One. But sealing is the number one priority right now because the longer we wait, the more expensive it's going to be to. Um, maintain those sidewalks, repair them or maintain, maintain them. 
Yeah, the sidewalks are already crumbling on the north, heading north on Route One. Mm. Right, and, and once they start the deteriorating, then it nice. accelerates over a period of time, and bam! Next thing you know, they start cracking, and and they're in tough shape. Now I know you encompassed all of the <coughs> sidewalks basically in town, correct? Except for Ocean Boulevard. All right. Well, that has its reasons of its own. <coughs> <coughs> but with that being said, how many years did you estimate it was going to take to bring that under control? It's dependent on funding. Well, well, we've done. You had funding down here is twenty six thousand dollars, which is now ten thousand. Which is now ten thousand. But according to your original plan, at that twenty six, how many years was it going to take? Just to do the ceiling of the sidewalks would probably take two to three years. Because now, once once the deterioration starts, if, if you seal the sidewalk, and you've got a plan to seal, reseal the sidewalks every three to five years, all you got to do is go down there with a high pressure hose and clean them off and then seal them. But once you get into the scaling of the sidewalks, mm -hmm. it's not a matter of just doing that. Then you've got to go in there and you've got to patch all of those uh, det that deterioration with sc scaling is, and then you got to go in there and seal it. So it's three times, four times more expensive to do it. And it's not just you can't just use mortar; you have to use a high um, uh, high efficiency epoxy to do that. So it just becomes this is another example of it just becomes increasingly more expensive when you don't do the proper and adequate maintenance of the sidewalks. So we did take $26,000, and I figured out, and I don't have it on top of my head, but, you know, a plan. And I believe it was somewhere around three to five years of just going in there and sealing our existing concrete, uh, concrete before we could even get to doing some of the repairs around town. Now, when you seal them, how long before you have to go back and seal them again? Well, it'll be three to five years to, five to years do it. And, you know, and it's there again, it depends. About get that done, and you're back to the cycle. I think this one's worthy of a discussion around the table. I'll start with Sandy. This, uh, what, going, um, you know, between three to five years, that's fine. Uh, it seems like we put in these sidewalks and they look great, and then they start to deteriorate. But yet we can't get the money in the budget to keep the maintenance going. It's like it's like anything else. It's like maintaining our cruisers, maintaining anything in the fire department. It's we we just we totally miss the boat because we don't do it. So what would be, Keith, the number, if you have a number off the top of your head, that would fairly well take care of maybe starting the project of sealing the twenty six thousand. The twenty six thousand would take care of sealing every sidewalk that we have. Oh no, no, no. It, it would take three to five years to get caught up at twenty six thousand. If you kept twenty six thousand, if I had that to spend, it would take three to five years to get caught up. And then, what off the top of your head would you, we be looking at as taxpayers to start the process of repair, the repairing, the going in and and doing that? A, the repair work. Well, at a minimum, twenty-six thousand dollars a year to do that, but that would take probably another five to ten years to get caught up on that. So we just base, mm -hmm. just like with the pavement maintenance project pro program that we have, we have a pavement ma pavement maintenance plan that identifies how often we can repave roads if we have $150,000. We've got, we can do it computerized where it says, okay, if we have $150,000, we can do three roads a year. If we have $500,000, we can do 12 roads a year. What does the town want to spend? What I, that I can't tell you, but what I can tell you is that asphalt has a, a curve to it for deterioration. And as over time, the asphalt, because of the ozone and the elements, <coughs> gets more brittle. Mm -hmm. And once it gets brittle, you want it with elasticity so that it can flex with the temperature and with the moisture in the ground and heaving and all that. So as time goes on, the ozone and all acid rain and all that takes a toll and it becomes brittle. 
and that's when it starts cracking, which then allows the moisture to go down in the road, and then in the winter, that's what causes the expansion, the, the freezing of the road. It expands it, and that's what's causes potholes. So it's all relative. But what I've tried to do, and the selectmen agreed, I think, on this. There's a new development down or building condominium down at the end of uh, High Street. So, no. What 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 that they had proposed to put in concrete, and I had suggested, let's just go with asphalt. Unless mm -hmm. now, I would say, I just want to qualify that. If we have a road, the whole road is concre concrete and someone's going to come in and do a 100, 200 foot section. It doesn't make sense to just put that asphalt. But what I'm trying to get across to the planning board is, you know, other than that, just go with asphalt. The mm -hmm. other advantage with <coughs> asphalt is that because it's black, you have to put less salt on it in the winter. Because it, it, it you know, because the black, the, the black, it absorbs the heat. So, you know, it, we're trying <coughs> to change these things that will ultimately result in savings to the town, but it takes time. So why couldn't why couldn't it be done in a Warren article? Yeah. And 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 have the tw either have the twenty six thousand in a Warren article or double it so that you can do the repair work and you can do the ceiling. Why can't it be done in a Warren article? And because a Warren article is designated to do just it. that work. Fred. That's true. So, hello. <laughs> yeah. I'm listening. That's you know that's my recommendation. Do it in a Warren article. There's the question out there, as the clock is ticking towards the Warren articles. So Warren articles aren't done yet. That's right. Plenty of time to do it. That's right. Uh, I mean, you know, I, that's what I would think. Either that or restore the twenty-six thousand. Thirty plus. See, those who have sat on this committee long enough know that. For every sidewalk we have, we've had a, a battle, and mm -hmm. it becomes a prize. And once we get them, and looking at the budgets going into the future, you're not going to see too many sidewalks being done unless they're part of a developer's perk. Let's put it that way. And um, those we have are not weren't maintained right to begin with, and the cost of reconstructing them is going to be a lot higher than just sealing them. So that's the concern that some of us who've been he around here for a long time have had this ongoing battle. You know, I see Pat, you shaking your head. You know that. And, and then we've had people begging. We've, we've got streets that little children stand out on every day that play dodging with the cars. And <coughs> had to say, you know what? There's no way you're going to get, your kids are going to be in college before you ever start to think about sidewalks. So to protect the ones we have is a prime consideration. Warren article may be a, a way to go. Give us some consideration. Right now, it's good to see t at least 10,000 in there to start a process should all else fail. That's not even what he needs. He needs 26,000. I know. <laughs> oh, but you mentioned the two magic words. Yeah. Warren article. Warren article. It's the only way you can stipulate that this money okay. will be spent on that item. Period. That's right, because you know what? <coughs> and we all know sure. that if something happens, it's, it's DPW that's going to get whapped, and his budget is going to be cut. That's the way it happens in this town. Where they go. DPW always yep. gets whapped. like that ship for all those years ago, not your So even the 10000 that you got in there, it's not even guaranteed that he's going to get the 10000 to do this, and that's why I would strongly stress to the Board of Selectmen that they do a Warren article. I would uh, say this, Madam Chair. I'm... Uh, I'm reading as the, uh, the meeting uh, continues. Uh, the City of Detroit's website, I'm reading uh, Mayor Bing's deposition. Uh, it has staggering implications for municipal government and the services. Pensioners will not receive their pensions. Uh, people cannot get police response. Uh, this is the new paradigm. This is the new reality. Uh, I, I live in Hampton. I've lived in Hampton for a long time. I don't see many people on sidewalks. I see children driven, not on buses, but by their parents, from door to door, right down the street from our property here at Center School, by their parents. They're not walking, and for good reason, because they're concerned about the safety of their children. And uh, as we get into the wintertime, uh, to fill a gas tank of oil or a fuel tank is $800. Selectman Nichols has spoken about a 10% increase 
in your tax bill out there for the for the folks that are listening and that doesn't count for legal proceedings that may affect the tax rate to include uh, pollution control devices and if you're up to speed on that that's not mentioned here that's significant amortize extrapolate that deficit if it doesn't roll our way and it wipes out our unfunded designated balance that that ufb gone over 10 years disappeared four million dollars so we talk about these issues uh, and we say we're not getting enough, enough money and when is enough enough and when do we realize that uh, it's time to circle the wagons and be serious uh, there's fellow Americans that have worked hard and their pensions today have just become free game and they've worked very very hard and we have municipal employees and uh, some of these people in Detroit who have worked for years and years and may have a small pension of thirty and forty thousand dollars may get as little as sixteen seventeen twenty cents on the dollar so when we talk about these issues perhaps it's a luxury to say our sidewalks aren't up to speed uh, but they're not getting a lot of use and uh, there's larger issues here there's larger issues that the selectmen confront there are now thirty plus Warren articles and at some point uh, these folks that have to pay college notes that are young people that are living with their parents that are paying eight hundred dollars to fill up an oil tank that can't use their degrees in the workplace that um, are questioning whether they should have gone to college uh, I, I think that the, the question of how good a shape the sidewalk in is in and whether it's maintained um, it's never used by them and never will be used by them is even relevant so I, w I just want to emphasize when the Board of Selectmen is looking at, at things they're looking at the big picture and again you look at that undesignated fund balance and if you look at some of the legal challenges Mr. Welch knows this to be true that if they do not go our way your savings in this town extrapolated or amortized over 10 years have evaporated thank you very much I'm going to say something here and then I hope you all bear with me while I appreciate you bringing on the plight of Detroit and I'm sure there are other cities in bad straits and I don't think anybody is sitting as comfortable as they were a few years ago and what you're saying is true I've been a citizen in this town for 30 years and some of you sitting at this table have been here even longer and I will tell you this I have an investment in this town and even at my age I continue to work and I had the children that went to college and I have loans to prove it and I would not for one minute have told my child if it meant taking even another job or working another decade that college was not worth it and as I emotionally say that I would emotionally say to every member here and anybody listening out there nor would I let my town deteriorate for all the investment and progress that has been made because in someone's assessment a sidewalk is not used I won't go further with that but I would say we have two different points of view <coughs> and we have a fiscal responsibility to the investments that we have so unless we're willing to sit here and say let it all crumble because somebody doesn't drive down a particular street or someone doesn't use a particular sidewalk or I no longer have children in school so let the schools crumble because there won't be any generations after this that I should be concerned about then I would take your point of view but from where I'm sitting as that middle-class American who's educated their child in this system and has chosen this town I will continue to work to make it what it's always been and keep it that way for the generations after us I'll leave it on that and get back to business here thank you for I'm, I'm tired of the doom and gloom yes um, just in your sidewalk last year's budget was 26,000 you only spent 532 so I'm, I'm assuming 
as you had said before, your other down down below your overtime wages for winter, you're already over on that budget. So I would assume that some of that twenty six thousand is going to get rolled down into that. There's a number of areas in the budget that I'm over that I have to account for, so that so by the end of the year I don't go into the red, and that's one of the areas I don't like to take it out, but that is is. It's not essential. It's not. It's yeah. essential, but it's not on the priority right. list, the of, list. Of, of going into the red. Okay. No. Okay. <coughs> the um, it's amazing what global questions we get into when we get mm -hmm. to sidewalks, isn't it? But I'm not going to touch it, even though I love to. Um, I do have a couple questions on the sidewalks. One was you raised a, a red flag in front of my eyes when you said sidewalk on Ocean Boulevard. Uh, we're not maintaining any <coughs> sidewalks on 1A, are we? <coughs> okay. Okay. The uh, ceiling of the sidewalks. Uh, is there some reason why we cannot <coughs> put asphalt on the top of a concrete sidewalk? Yeah, it's not a good idea because what happens is the water, the moisture, the two differential materials. Right. So the water <coughs> inevitably, when the sidewalk, the, the, the asphalt cracks, water will get down. <coughs> It'll make the water in between the two, right. and then in the winter time, when the water <coughs> expands and becomes ice, it'll pop it off. So people, you it'll can pop put off it only the asphalt, though, right? Right. So the concrete would be preserved. No, uh, because then it's holding in the moisture. Huh? The, the <coughs> it's actually holding in moisture, which is causing it more deterioration. You want the concrete to dry over a period of time, you know, on a daily basis. Okay. Does if we, if we seal the concrete, as you propose, sealing it, uh, thus creating a moisture, uh, an impenetrable right. yeah. surface, and then put asphalt on top of that, that would also not work. Gentlemen. So there's really nothing we can do short of what you're talking about in terms of putting you down can, sealer. You can put down asphalt and, and sealers, whatever. It's, it's the right way or the not so right well, way? Well, the thing that bothered me about it was you know, if we put down a sealer, we have to reseal every three to five years. And, and running in my mind, I'm thinking, we're going to be constantly cycling through <coughs> and resealing all the time if we take that approach. And I was wondering how we could break that cycle. That's what I was By telling, by which I've done, I've, I've said. No, I've, no more I'm concrete. making a recommendation to the planning yeah. board not to accept any concrete sidewalks. Well, that makes perfect sense, but I'm right. talking about what we have right now. <laughs> no, there's nothing there's other than really nothing getting on board with doing do. what ceiling we can afford. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you. I don't think we can solve the sidewalks here tonight. So. Would you like a motion? I would. would. Uh, second. I. <laughs> no, I would favor. Motion, Pat. You may not want a second. <laughs> I'm, not an, I'm making a motion that we increase by sixteen thousand. The 4312.4.730 sidewalk reconstruction so that we make it 26,000. Do we have a second? I'll second that. We had discussion. Um, I'm going to take a vote. All those in favor? This is to add to the sidewalk account. To add us. How much of the sidewalks are we going to get sealed with that amount of money next year? <coughs> With the 26, we can probably get half of the beach done. Half of the beach? Right. Side streets. Side streets. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Not Ocean Boulevard. Okay. Not okay. on Ocean Boulevard. Right. Right. Well, the Westwood side of the streets aren't even done yet, so you can just mean okay. just Ocean Boulevard. All right. We All were in the middle of a vote. All those in favor? Hold them up because we're a divided oh. vote. Okay. In just a minute. Steve. Nope, not no. me. I'm a no. I'm a no. Well, I, uh, we didn't go to nose yet. We haven't got to the nose yet. Well, I'm counting. You're, are you a yes or a no, Sonny? He's a yes. Yes. Okay. So. Seven no's. Well, we haven't done no's yet. We haven't no, done the no's. Seven no's. Yeses. Yeses. Yep. No, I, I counted the no's. Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> How many yeses did you get? How many yeses? So we have 12 people here now. Okay. All the yeses. Put your hands up again. All right. It, it, oh we're, yes we're making five. it confusing. One, two, three, four, five. See? Okay. okay. And the nose? Seven. Four, six. Five. I see six. Oh, and Tim's going to abstain. And Tim, you abstain. What a prediction. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Tim's abstaining. Inadequate discussion period. So it's it, 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 it anyway. 
It fails anyway. It fails <coughs> anyway, so it, we're back at that number. Okay. But there's always a Warren article, and we can talk more about that. Well, that's not going to happen. So for the budget committee. And vote it again. All righty. Are we still on page 101? We're still on page 101. Mm. Snow and ice removal. Snow and ice. Discussion on snow and ice. I do. Maybe. I may jump right in. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I see that the actual Keith was at 66,105. You requested 80,000 and it was cut down to 49,000. Uh, I am not going to make a motion to increase that, but I'm just wondering what happens if you uh, go over the 49, where, where are you going to take the overtime? I mean, if we get warmed with right. snow between now and March, even sometimes into April, where, any idea where you, you would take the... Uh, I can time. tell you one thing, we're not going to do anything with sidewalks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I don't think you're going to do sidewalks. <laughs> <laughs> Any idea where you would take the... Uh, it would be under the paving account, would be in an area, uh, sewer and storm drain maintenance. Uh, I would look at tree cutting, uh, street signs. Uh, there's certain areas in my budget that are just, I have no control. So mm -hmm. no control over such right. as wages or you know right. I can't cut wages unless I sure. cut personnel I don't plan right. on doing that um, so yeah I mean I'm doing that now mm -hmm. the, the, the way I came up with the eighty thousand dollars is mm -hmm. earlier in the year the selectman directed me to plan to make sure that I was uh, holding off funding in other areas to cover the overage in the spring or the, the winter mm -hmm. snow plowing and the finance director provided the selectman a scenario where he took what we had spent to date for the first three months and then tacked on there what it should be costing, to, what it may cost to get through November and December, and he came up with $80,000. And so I was told at the beginning of the year, well, you have to plan on $80,000, even though I'd only spent sixty. I couldn't spend the... I, the any more than the 60. I had to reserve 80. So I said, well, if that's going to be the case, then that's the number I'm going to use for next year. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can understand the, I could understand getting it cut down to, you know, 66 to an actual, but even below that, you know, in, in 2012 it was a 46. <coughs> so, I don't know. I just think you're going to, you're going to have a tight budget this year, I think. That's all. Okay, going around. Joe? Nope. I have um, question. Yeah, I'm, I'm concerned about uh, that as well. Uh, I guess for those who believe in global warming and probably comfortable with uh, less snow and ice, but uh, <coughs> I'm concerned about that. I'm sure you are too, Keith. But I was also noticing the salt uh, mm -hmm. line item. Which also helps to remove snow and ice, right? I'm actually okay with the selectman's cut on that because okay. we do have a reserve right now. So oh, I'm you do. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, Thank I'm you. Okay with that. The price of salt went down this year too because it was a glut. Okay. Going around. Round. Richard. Huh? Are we doing any pre? Oh, sorry. Yes, sir. Are we doing any pre-salting or? Would you use them in the mixture or anything like that? <coughs> no, but that is something that um, I want to implement in this town is pre-wetting. I thought um, we mentioned it last year. Right. We just haven't with everything else on the... Yeah. yeah it's, uh, but I can tell you that we should be doing that and we're mm -hmm. working towards that. Um, we've been talking about it. But it's quite a an initial investment, you right. know, for the equipment and the... Um, the chemical takes its toll on the equipment as well, so you got to do extra washing. Right. Um, <laughs> that's that's like always going to come back yeah. to that, but I just noticed other towns have seemed to have some success with it. Oh, it works great. And for the long term, it's great investment. Yeah. I'd like to see the town go that route here, but it, the initial investment's quite a bit to put the units on to do calcium chloride is what you put down on the, right. the roads, and you can because you can only salt <coughs> 20 degrees. 
-hmm. That allows us to go down to about 10 to 15 degrees where we can put pre-treatment down. I've seen you make it a warm yeah. Following okay. the news in Worcester, that big crash of 60, <laughs> that, was the end that was the end result of mm -hmm. what they found is that they were mm -hmm. going to go to wet, wet sand, uh, wet pre, pre Pre-salting pre, pre, pre or pre-de-icing. Yeah. yeah, because it was on bridge and the yeah. 60 yeah. cars that piled up, yeah. they felt that yeah. might have prevented that. Sure. Yeah. But we have to have other things before we have that. <laughs> but we're working towards that goal. I can tell you, that's a goal of mine is to get to that point where we are doing pre-icing. That's awesome. Pre-icing. <coughs> okay. Richard? I have nothing. Okay, Sonny? Yeah, a uh, couple of minor points. I notice you've got quite a bit of salt. You keep you're gonna the new salt's gonna go on top of the old salt, so the old is aged salt worth more. <laughs> no. you, you know. So you it going no, what it either. does though, it cakes up. It doesn't really lose its effectiveness. Hmm. But we try to when we get the no, new salt, I, I try to mix it in a little bit. But it, but it's salt to salt. The other question I had was on the east side of, uh, at the beach, 1A, obviously the town is hung up fighting with the state over who has to maintain the sidewalk. <coughs> now, the maintenance on the sidewalks on the west side of, at the beach, is that the town's responsibility? Not, no. no. I mean, depends well, on who you talk well, to. Well, nobody plows it, right? State <coughs> owned. If you talk to the state, they're going to say it's the town's responsibility. <coughs> Same thing with, by the, the state. with the roads. What about on Route 1? That's yeah. ours. That's the, the town totally responsibility. Town, yeah. okay. We don't right. have enough time for that. And that's an issue that should get resolved, I hope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. All right. Any, I think we killed this section, too. Just one correction on the uh, total paving. <coughs> At the bottom, it should be changed to 414560 for that $60,000 adjustment. Oh, wait a minute. No. Yeah, at the bottom, total. We were dealing with subtotal. Oh, yeah. But we didn't correct the total. We ended up putting 60000 into this section. We took it out of the okay. other section. Right. Okay. We took it out of two other sections. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it went into this section. Right. And you know what? I will, when I take the book home tonight, I'll go back from the beginning. And if there's any correction, mm -hmm. I'm really missing Mike tonight. Yeah. All right, but I just don't. I'd want to try. I'd try whatever I can. Four fourteen five sixty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that should. It's just street lighting on the next page. 